Today we're talking about Air Force PJs. This episode is brought to you by Shinesty, the Sactical Underwear. The only underwear with anti-bat wing technology. Ladies and gentlemen, when things go wrong, the grunts call up the world's largest wholesaler of forever boxes. The United States Air Force. Affectionately known as the Chair Force because, well, they're basically desk receptionist. They will schedule you an appointment with a deity of your choosing from a distance. But what happens when the grunts don't just need help deleting bad guys? What happens when the grunts need to be saved? That is when the Air Force takes a more hands-on approach and deploys what I can only describe as the Battlefield Archangel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Pararescue, also known as the Air Force PJs. That is the wrong fucking picture. Damn it! That's better. The Air Force PJs. If you don't know what a PJ is, the easiest way I can explain this to you is they are the 911 service for the baddest men on the planet. This is who the Green Berets and the Navy SEALs call when things go wrong. These guys only go on suicide missions and they're so badass they just call them missions. Now if you don't know, PJs are a special operations group. Which means they are the best in the world at something. And the thing they are best at is being doc. I said that the Green Berets basically had a doctorate degree in being a grunt. The PJs have a doctorate degree in being doc. Doc squared, if you will. You see, doc might be the only guy that can stack and unstack bodies on the battlefield. The PJs take that to another level. They will straight up exhume your remains and bring you back to life. They are a battlefield necromancer. What I'm trying to say is if the PJs would have excavated the pyramids instead of archaeologists, we'd probably have a pharaoh alive today. One Green Beret that I talked to said that these guys will save your life with one hand while laying down suppressive fire with the other. Okay, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, here's the deal. When a good guy gets hurt, these men jump out of a plane, rappel out of a helicopter, do absolutely whatever it takes to get to that injured person, and bring them home. These men have every intention of bringing you home or not coming home themselves. You see, these guys only get called when the metric system has hit the fan. Yeah, I called the metric system shit. Freedom fractions forever. Deal with it. If you're a bad guy and you see an Air Force PJ coming... Uncle Sam has just played his reverse card. If you put a grunt in his grave and you see a PJ, you're going in that grave instead and that grunt's coming home. Three minutes is not enough time to adequately explain to you how badass these men are. You have to be the best of the best to even qualify to get a chance to be a PJ. And if you get that chance, it is two years of hard training. The hardest training the military has to offer. This training has a 90% attrition rate. Meaning that of the best of the best, one out of ten makes it. These men are willing to subject themselves to that hardship for no other reason than the opportunity to go on a suicide mission to save someone they probably don't even know. That is why their motto is, so that others may live. These men are quite literally warrior monks that have dedicated their lives and sacrificed their bodies to simply be ready in case they're needed. So in conclusion, the Air Force doesn't go hands-on very often. But when they do, it is the hands of a PJ reaching into the afterlife to bring grunts home. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content and maybe like to buy me a beer about it, don't. At least not today. But it would be a huge favor to me if you could click this button right here in my bio. It'll take you here and then just hit subscribe. It is hands down the best way to support this channel with zero cost to you. So until next time, Quack Bang out.